Hi, I'm Shayna, and if you're new here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna say that before I even tell you what we're doing. <laughs> subscribe, like, comment, share, all of the above. Um, we're reviewing Married to Medicine, season nine, episode six. And if you hear some noise in the background, that's my air kicking in. Uh, it got a little chilly for my liking, even though it's August, um, now I'm hot. <laughs> so I had to turn the air back on because I don't want to be sweating too bad on the camera. Um, but we're going to get into it. And we just picked right back up where we left off from the previous episode. The ladies are in Vegas. They're still playing Never Have I Ever. Um, Carrie is just there looking like a lamp in the back. I, everybody has been saying, why is she there? I didn't think we needed her the first season. I don't think we need a token on our show she doesn't bring anything she didn't add any value when she was a main cast member initially if y'all want to have her in the back have her in the back but don't keep showing her like she she's just sitting there taking up space i could have been on the trip for all that and i'm sure she got paid listen a free trip to vegas and some camera time and no lines mm -mm -mm. it's not even fair i should have been on the trip but Contessa uh, was telling her husband on the phone after the, the game, because the game, you know, we know what happened last week. Nothing really too exciting was said, but she tells her husband on the phone that she's done arguing with Heavenly. She's not doing that. He said, please don't argue with that lady about them YouTube videos. He said, she's not going to do that. She's, she's done with that. <laughs> so the next scene, the ladies are all dressed up. Um, everybody looks good. Heavenly has on like bedazzled rhinestone flip flops. Heavenly, you, Dr. Hev, you did not understand the assignment. And I love me some Heavenly, but she did not understand the assignment. Baby, you in Vegas. Like, she could have at least got, I don't know, a nice wedge or a kitten. But she just, she didn't even get a sandal. Like, it was straight up flip flops. Like, are you not running to run errands? We in Vegas. But whatever. <laughs> Dr. Jackie um, is a, tonight's host. They're going to dinner. I don't think there's too much fun to be had because Dr. Jackie's the host. We shall see. Uh, we are in Vegas. She wasn't drinking, so I think it's going to be typical, you know, no nonsense, no fun, no nothing night. <laughs> but Jackie might surprise us. Who knows? So... Uh, Dr. Simone says she's taking over tomorrow. It's going to be real fun. We shall see. Contessa says she wants to go to the strip club. And Simone was like, no, you know, that will save all that excitement for tomorrow. But we ain't doing that tonight. And why? Y'all are on vacation. After whatever y'all had planned, we can go off to the strip club. We're in Vegas. These are grown adults. Okay, after we done, bye. See y'all. Because if I want to go to the strip club, I'm going to go. I've gone to the strip club before just to get some honey barbecue wings with extra blue cheese. So if I want to go, I'm going to go. But that's just me. <laughs> so uh, they're sitting down. Jackie pulls out a whip that looks like a thick HDMI cord and smacks the table. And it was like, whoa, like where did that come from? <sighs> I remember back in the day when you know the reality shows was real good and they didn't used to use props these props it was given when drusador threw that dog bone and i know it was a completely different situation and scenario but it didn't make me say oh jackie uh -huh. it made me say what who what plantation did she get that whip from girl so heavenly was saying all the ladies are successful and anelia was like oh you really feel that way and I'm thinking maybe she's feeling a little, you know, insecure about the vlogging that she's always discussing. But maybe you're successful in your own right. Everybody there is successful and you wouldn't be on the show if you were not. Because we were already like eight seasons in when you came onto the show. So you obviously had to be somebody to make it. So girl, yes, pat yourself in the back. You're a successful vlogging wife who doesn't want to be a mom to her own kids. So, uh, Audra, the new friend to the show, who is a lawyer who's married to the dentist, I believe, or doctor. I don't know. I thought she was 
I, I might be confusing her with somebody else, but she's a lawyer, her husband's a doctor. Um, and she made a comment like, well, I'm not successful because I'm not a good lawyer. You know, making, like piggybacking off of what Toya said earlier when she said she's not a good lawyer because she can't get Jack Jackie to drink. Uh, Toya said it was a joke, but come on Toya, pot me kettle. You just got mad at Anila for doing that last, the what? last what episode two episodes ago with the halloween party and when anelia did it it wasn't funny everybody oh my gosh oh yeah you should it's she so you didn't find it funny so anelia should have done it they should apologize but you say oh, it's just a joke and we're supposed to just act like oh well it's just a joke so never mind just like you didn't think anelia's joke was funny i audra audra didn't think your joke was funny and it wasn't no joke i didn't hear no sarcasm in that voice when you said it she just, mm -mm. <laughs> Audra lawyered her because she checked her and got her together. Uh, so Audra said she doesn't play about her career. Don't come from my career. She said she is way too African for that. Um, I hear and feel, in my opinion, that Africans are very serious about their education, about their careers, and you know, I kind of understand what she's saying because I think in the American culture, it's not always valued as much as it is over there in Africa. Um, but however, she did seem to rub some of the ladies the wrong way because you are at a table filled with doctors. And like Heavenly said, these are successful women. So obviously these women take their career seriously. You throwing in that you're African um, got you to side eye. I would have left that out. It wasn't necessary. So after the ladies give her the side eye, Audra, you know, continue to check her and have her shut up and eat her food. Then Quab gives her a whispering in her ear, like a mother talking to a child, telling her, girl, you know better. You know you shouldn't have been saying nothing about her career. Why are you saying that thing? Don't, don't do that. Watch what you say. And I'm like, Toya is grown. She's going to do what she want to do. She said what she want to say. Audra already checked her. She ain't need no help. But I mean, I guess, you know, it's good to see Quad and Toya on the good foot. So Dr. Jackie takes the ladies to a sex store slash lingerie shop. I saw some granny lingerie and we got um, education regarding the sex toys. To me, it still was boring. We could have skipped the sex toy lingerie shop uh, and we could have just went to the strip club with Contessa. But okay the next morning simone is explaining to toya why her lawyer joke just wasn't funny um i don't know if toya received it or not carrie was sitting there like a pillow um or a prop that was just used to sit there to fill up space <laughs> we could have moved her out of the way uh they show the husbands with the kids and the other husband is doing a great job. He's, you know, having the kids involved. They're making pizza together. Um, they did say they missed their mommy, of course. But, you know, he was doing a really good job. He was hands-on. He was patient. He didn't seem stressed or overwhelmed. And I said, man, for him to be a doctor who's the only one providing, you know, income, to my knowledge, allegedly, <laughs> it seems like he has a way better handle on the parenting then Amelia does. Um, maybe she, they might want to switch roles and she get out the house and go do the work and he stay back with the kids because it seems like it's just too much for her. And I'm not seeing why she needs a nanny. And I mean, after the way Ms. Gomez left and said, I'm never coming back. I'm not calling you. I'm not texting you. I'm not sending you no messages. Don't call me, beat me, don't reach me. I don't know if she'll have a, a, a time finding another nanny. It might be difficult for her to find another one. She needs to just mother her own children. But I'm glad she got a break and maybe this will help her miss her children and realize like, okay, now that I've gone on vacation, I had some time away, I can tend to my home and, and get back to my motherly duties. So after they show the husbands with no makeup, um, Dr. Contessa's husband is telling the teenage daughter she can't wear makeup. She's going to wear it anyway. <laughs> Allura wants to stay out till 2 a.m. We saw Allura, Allura when she was just a little little young little girl. And now she's like a grown woman. She's driving her Range Rover. Just looking so adult-like. 
it's crazy like how fast these seasons in these years really go uh, so the ladies are having breakfast Toya is bullying the waitress to give her bacon. The waitress said, no, we serve Mexican style brunch um, and we bring it out family style. And Toya said, how do you not have bacon? And finally, I don't know how, but they found some bacon in the back. So they made sure to give it to her. I guess they said, look, they're filming. We don't want no smoke. Just give the girl the bacon. So Savone explains why her and Cecil are writing the uh, Marisol advice book. Um, I think Heavenly or someone asked about the book. Everyone's writing a book. <laughs> Real Housewives are writing a book. Married to Medicine are writing a book. So that seems to be just a thing with family, self-help, relationship style advice books. Um, I'm actually more interested in reading Ralph's book though, but I am curious to see what Simone and Cecil have to say because they've been married for such a long time and they avoided getting divorced, but I don't think I would actually buy the book. Like, I'll just hear what she got to say on the show. Um, she said all the ladies rallied around um, when they were thinking about going through with the divorce. They really, you know, pushed them to kind of work things out, especially Heavenly. Heavenly and Simone were good friends at that time. Uh, Heavenly said she's going to stay with Dr. Damon, Dr. Daddy, no matter what. She, no matter, it don't matter what y'all say he did. She's not leaving her man, point blank, period. And I'm thinking, who's surprised to hear this? Like, we know. She don't play about her man. Don't talk about my man and my mom and my child. That's what she's giving. Do not play about her man. Don't even speak on him. Don't look his way. I don't think anybody's looking his way, but don't look his way anyway. She's not leaving that man. She put in too much work and too much time and she ain't going nowhere. She got that old school mentality that she won't leave no matter what. So Simone hinted that um, Heavenly, oops. Not my phone died mid-video. <laughs> Simone made a statement that, um, you know, Heavenly might have, like, made something up. Or that's what Contessa was getting at. Like, don't make up anything. Because Heavenly said no matter if you make something up about him, that may be true. That didn't make any sense. But Simone said that's what Contessa was saying. And how did what did Contessa have to do with this? <laughs> but, okay. And I don't think that's what she was saying. I don't, I mean... Simone had to do it just to get her riled up and she pushed her buttons and they were just it's, I think they were going to get on the right path this trip and that was ruined because Simone did that she she didn't have to say that it was unnecessary and while Heavenly and Contessa are going you know blow for blow Simone is just sitting back and nobody's realizing that she's the one that started this um, but Heavenly's like look I didn't make up anything I didn't make nothing up that's everything she said out of her mouth and they're like, and Simone tried to explain, just because she said it doesn't mean you, as her girlfriend, you shouldn't be repeating it. If she wants to tell her business, that's her business to tell, not yours. Now, granted, Heavenly didn't tell the business, the business was already out, but you're repeating it, almost like you're confirming it, so she should have just minded her business to stay out of it, but y'all know how Heavenly is, and you need to either accept her as she is and not tell her anything or not. <laughs> so... Heavenly gets upset, her vein is popping on her forehead. She's like, if y'all don't want nobody to know anything about your husband, then don't tell it. Like, she don't. She don't tell us nothing about that man besides the fact that she ain't leaving no matter what he do. So don't even tell her if he cheated or not because she don't want to know because she ain't going to go. I think you should never <laughs> tell a man that you're not going anywhere because he's going to treat you like you ain't going nowhere. Because, baby, I will go. You're not going to treat me any kind of way. I'm going to go. So if you treat me right, I will stay. But if you treat me wrong, I will go. But that's just my thinking. I don't know. I don't have no husband. Let me mind my business and stay at my place. And so Contessa yelled, words have power. And she, she been wanting to yell for a minute. She should have been going with the men to the ax throwing class last week. She should have been going with them there because she has some frustrations she needs to let out. I do think Heavenly had a point where she said, um, you know, Contessa has misdirected anger and she's like taking the anger she has with Scott out on her. I think she has a bit of a point. I think her real issue is with Scott, but Heavenly didn't help at all when she started running her mouth on YouTube. So, 
they start they start yelling at each other, saying they don't f with each other. They don't. They not cool. They never gonna be cool ever again. Um, they <laughs> just keep going back and forth, and Heavenly storms off. She goes with Anila and Audra to Anila's room, and the other ladies stay back. And you know, Contessa just wants to pray. Carrie's rude self is sitting there looking in the space, and girl, please bow your head and just act like you're closing your eyes. But whatever. <laughs> so, while they're doing that, when they were arguing, Toya was just sitting there snacking on her bacon quietly while the chaos was going on. And I would have been doing the same thing. I, I can hear what's going on, but I came to brunch to eat my, pr my brunch. This don't got nothing to do with me, so I'm gonna eat watch and mind my business looks <laughs> toya said i got enough from audra last night i don't need her coming at, coming for me again i'm gonna stay over here and mind my business so they got in the limo they're going to the next event they were nervous um is heavenly gonna come she's not answering finally she answers and say yeah i'm gonna come like that's that's not gonna stop my vegas trip they said contest are you fine with heavenly coming she said yeah i want everybody to come like that don't want that don't stop nothing so all the ladies are mature they're moving on they're going to the next event which is zip lining uh toya is very scared she's about to break down they push her anyway to do it she said she said she felt like she was being pushed to do something she didn't want to do instead of just saying no and standing firm on that she did it anyway she got through it um, i don't think she enjoyed it so i think she shouldn't have done it if she wasn't comfortable but i'm glad all the ladies did it uh and I was a little bit nervous when the ladies were wearing the wigs. Some of the ladies had wigs on. We know why I got a good wig on, but I know she got that, that bold hold that's gonna hold it down. No matter, a little bit of wind ain't gonna shake it. But Heavenly looks like she got one from her beauty supply store. So we know that was, that was a little iffy, but it stayed, the wig stayed tight. They made it through. And you know, they're finishing up the rest of their Vegas trip. So we're gonna pick up where we left off on next week so we'll be back here next week and i will see you then in the meantime check out my other videos and be sure to like comment and subscribe bye